Hey there fam, I'm back with more of my top videos. This time we're doing a top 10, which is kind of unusual for me. I am more known for my top 5, so I decided to bring a special guest to help us out today. Sup Ovi fam, I'm Mystic Umbreon, and I have been invited by Ovi as a guest to discuss our special places we think would get the most attention in Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is a new idea showcased not too long ago, where we're going to be able to use our phone's cameras to capture different Pokemon depending on the area you're in. Many major cities and popular places are going to be included. Number 10, Seattle. Okay, so I thought about this a lot. Seattle is that one city in the United States that is always raining. In all honesty, that is rather depressing. So why not add some depressing and raining type Pokemon to this place? Since it is always raining, we can add Gumi and Politoed. Let's not forget that it is also a coastal city, and there would be a lot of variety towards the water Pokemon as well. So as you scan over the shore, you might be able to spot some Gyarados, maybe a Wailord? That would be amazing, just seeing them jump around the water. Except all the Goldeen and Magikarps, of course. And for those with waterproof cases or ways to avoid the water affecting their smartphones, we can observe Pokemon underwater, such as Chinchu or Corsola on the ocean floor. You may even be able to spot a Dragonair. The Pokedex is full of Pokemon that could be native to many different regions with a variety of climates to suit their needs. So when it comes to Pokemon that enjoy a much colder climate, I like to think of Russia and its mountainous region. One major city there is, of course, Moscow. In Soviet Russia, Pokemon catch you! Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, no, I'm just kidding, guys. On a serious note, though, we would find a lot of polar-related Pokemon in Russia, but we wouldn't be able to find the most coldest. So some examples would be Sneasel, Snowrun, and Jinx. There may also be a possibility to find some very special ice types for those who are adventurous enough to cross the mountain range, such as Articuno. Let's step away from the cold for a bit and move to a more tropical area. For those who enjoy lots of flora, Madagascar seems to hit the spot. In here you will find your typical tropias, some mankeys, and if you want to have an intellectual conversation, let's throw in some chatos in there as well. Since there is a lot of rain because of the forests, we can throw in some grass Pokemon as well, such as Victory Bell and Tangela. Not to mention if we venture out far enough, we may even be able to encounter Superior. But watch out for Wild Arbucks, I heard they're poisonous. Here's another interesting place that has the potential to house some peculiar Pokemon. Mumbai is the highest populated city in India and is known for all the business that call this place a home. It is a tropical area and some Pokemon that we would like to see there could be Medicham and Conkeldor. Also, because of Indian culture, we can expect to find many Donphan as well. Elephants play a big role in the ways of Indian life. Donphans would add a lot to the culture and bring out that Indian vibe. So now, we go all the way to the mystical land of Canada, to the west, to the lush region of Vancouver. Here we will find many forest-themed Pokemon such as Ursaring, Noctowl, Hoot Hoot, and Deerling. Plus with all the national parks, we could get in a good family vacation and get some cool new Pokemon for the decks. This place would be simply amazing to explore. They even have places where you can find totems, so take a while to guess who you can find here. Sato, of course. Being close to the shore as well, you can find marine Pokemon such as Basculin and some Alomomolas to stir things around. Wow, those are a lot of cool places, but we're not done yet. Our planet is filled with tons of beautiful places to explore, so if you want more, simply follow us to Mystic's channel so we can wrap this up. If your place still has not been mentioned yet, that means there is still a good possibility that it could be in this top 10. Click this annotation on the screen to fly over to my channel for more sightseeing. See you guys there.